What's up guys, JS2 Sense, and I just got back from the NVIDIA event in Austin, Texas, where NVIDIA flew us out and gave us the whole Texas experience, then took us over to the nightclub where they were hosting the live event and live stream that hopefully you guys saw, and if you didn't, you can check it out on NVIDIA's YouTube page, where they dropped the bombshell of the 1080 and the 1070, and uh, yeah, there was a lot to be said that day. Now this video is not gonna be all inclusive 1080. There's a lot of things I cannot talk about under NDA, but I chose one specific topic to talk about today that there seems to be a huge disconnect between the viewers and those people who actually are in the know on what exactly the Founders Edition card is. So we are gonna talk about that today and hopefully put some of those rumors to rest. The Lickmax 2 120 and 240 from Enermax is another awesome choice of AIO liquid coolers for gamers and enthusiasts without breaking the bank. Patented shunt channel technology provides extra layer of cooling capability. Click the link below to find out more. Now, unless you have literally been living under a rock since Friday night and you have no idea what I'm talking about, or perhaps you actually have a life and you're not glued to your screen, face planted against the glass, uh, going gimme, gimme, gimme on new graphics card launches and you actually go out inside and do things, then you would know that the 1080 and 1070 launched and Gensun showed a screen uh, slide of what pricing was gonna look like. And for the first time in NVIDIA history, we've actually seen two tiers of pricing for both of those cards, the 1080 and the 1070. Now, quite literally in the audience, we all of us press were sitting amongst each other. I had Awesome Sauce Kyle to my left, and I had Luke from Linus Tech Tips to my right, and when pricing went up, we literally looked at each other and we're like, what the hell is the Founders card? Now, when Jen Sun showed the live 3D rendering demo and showed a massive overclock of 2114 megahertz and RAM running at an effective 11,000 megahertz, we were all looking at each other going, eh, okay, so obviously this is the Founders card, you know, it might seem a little deceptive to be thinking, wow, an off-the-shelf GPU is gonna be pulling this kind of performance because we saw the temperature sitting at 67C under load, and we we're like, yeah, yeah, there's a there's a little bit of uh, magic and a little, a little trickery happening right here, but bombshell, guys, that was, yes, the Founders Edition card. But what the hell is the Founders Edition card? Because we really had to know. Is it gonna be something like the uh, Kingpin Edition here, right, from EVGA? They take the stock design of the 980 Ti reference and then they put their spin on it, custom PCBs, backplates, and all that sort of stuff, and you get this massively you know, well-performing but bit pricey card. Obviously, the Founders Edition is gonna be something like that, right? Well, guys, I have the Founders Edition card right here. Are you ready? There it is the 1080 Founders Edition card. Yeah, looks an awful lot like reference, right? I mean, it has a backplate. So did the 980 though. Not the 980 Ti, but the 980 had a backplate. But that's it right there. That is the Founders Edition card. So what is it? Well, when Press got a chance to do Q&A with a lot of the staff over at NVIDIA, we kept asking, so what's the difference between the Founders Edition card and the 599 card? And the answer was nothing. It's exactly the same. This is the Founders card. So basically you can take the word reference, which has always been used in the past, right? You've had your reference Titan, or essentially, really, the Titan is the only Titan. They didn't allow board partners to go in and make custom designs. So the Titan really was a Founders Edition card. You also have the 980 Ti right here, right? Reference design. And then we came out with custom 980 Ti's, as you see right here. But here's effectively what has just happened. You have the reference model being replaced with the word Founders Edition, right? This is the reference design card, 599, or excuse me, 699 bucks. And then you have the custom board partner cards, $599. So obviously we were very confused going, wait, wait, what, 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 what's happening here? Which one performs better? Well, the, basically the answer that we got was that the Founders Edition card is, they don't wanna use the right word reference anymore. It is the, I'm holding the wrong card. It gets a little confusing quite honestly, when they look the same. But the Founders Edition card, quite literally, is the card designed by NVIDIA. It is using what they said is premium components, the best components that they can get in here. It is not binned, it is not cherry-picked, and it is not uh, GPU units like you know, the Pascal uh, GP104 that is being held back and going, these are the best ones, we're gonna keep it for ourselves and we're gonna charge $100 more, no. NVIDIA for the first time is actually going to remain in the retail space for the life of the card. And they are gonna be offering this card for life. Well, 
the life of the 1080 and as long as it's relevant anyway. But why? If board partners are gonna be out there doing custom designs and they quite literally could be faster than this, why would anyone pay $100 more for this? And we kept asking that question over and over. It was probably asked five or six different ways, the same question with the same, uh, well, different words, but the same question. And we quite honestly kept getting the answer of, because NVIDIA wants to continue to offer what they consider to be the, their design, what they developed and then essentially sold to the board partners or leased or however that business model works because they think that this is this is the founder. They, they founded this card, they want to keep it sold. But at the same time, they don't want to compete with the board partners. What point would there be if they were undercutting EVGA, MSI, Gigabyte, Zotac and were selling them cheaper, that really would be I don't know, kind of a slap to the face of your board partners, which are out there really pushing the designs. Now the board partners are going to be free, obviously, to do whatever they want. So yes, as confusing as it really seems, you could quite honestly buy the reference, AKA Founders 1080 uh, at a more expensive price. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, here's what typically happens on these launches. You guys have all seen this in the past before. 980 Ti launches, right? Here's 980 Ti. These are the only cards available at like on launch day. Some board partners got custom designs out there on launch day, but they get very little time to actually work with this because Nvidia wants to keep it under wraps. They don't want it to get leaked, although leaks happen no matter what. And they want to, uh, you know, they, they want to keep the card basically in house as long as they can. So board partners initially will launch the reference style, but then after a couple of months, they get their custom cards out. You know, let's, well again, we'll use EVGA because I have it sitting right here. They start with their ACX cards and then they start doing custom classifieds and kingpins and stuff and then they stop selling this guy right here. Well, Nvidia feels that this guy belongs in the market space as long as possible and they are going to basically stay in retail where you can order this card direct from Nvidia, again, at a premium price of $699 at launch. Now, if you're sitting there scratching your head going, that's really weird, then you basically are sharing the emotion that I think pretty much everyone in the room felt when that was uh, the way that it was explained. Now there are going to be instances where the blower, blower style like this is going to be needed. Small form factor cases that don't have a lot of airflow, you're going to need a blower style card. You put cards in there with multiple fans, it's going to heat up. There are instances, in fact, there, I've heard a lot of conversations where some of the media were going, well, that's just stupid. Why the heck would you want a blower? Why would you blah, 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 blah. And it, it actually was really starting to make me mad listening to this and I finally stepped in and was like, guys, there's a time when this cooler's needed. Okay, there, there are small form factors becoming a bigger thing. Uh, there are times when you need an exhausting fan and I can see where this fits in its marketplace. And so I, I basically stepped in and did the Jay's a dick hole thing and was like, look, just stop. There are times this is needed. As a system builder myself, I can understand this. Maybe you don't build systems, I don't know, but I do see where it belongs. I think what confused a lot of us was the pricing model on it. So basically to recap, the Founders Edition is the reference edition. And basically the MSRP of 599 uh, for the board partners is probably gonna be better worded in my opinion as MAP or minimum advertised price where that's where Nvidia is setting the floor for pricing. I don't know if that's exact because they did say MSRP which is manufacturer suggested retail price but you could go below that. I don't think they will. Uh, but what's gonna end up happening here I think is at that $699 price point uh, you are going to start to see custom board designs in there where they're not more expensive than the reference. So I guess time is going to tell on whether or not this is a good business model or not. Um, again, it's one of the first times that Nvidia has stayed in the retail space after launch and not just been an uh, ODM or OEM designer and manufacturer of the, the reference board and then leasing, selling, however they work that model, like I said, to the board partners where they put their spin on it and Nvidia supplies the chips. That model's staying the same, but Nvidia is staying in the space with their own Founders Edition card. So that leads me to the question, how do you guys feel about this? How do you feel about the Founders Edition card being referenced? I, for one, am excited the fact that what we saw was, at least on that demo, 2114 megahertz, 67 degrees Celsius, under load, an 11,000 megahertz GDDR5X based on a, let's call it what it is, a reference design. That means we could see potentially a lot more. So yeah, 
I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Now they said that the card that we saw on demo was not cherry picked. It was not hand picked. It came out of a pallet of carts. They just grabbed one, put it in the machine for the demo and didn't even overclock it until shortly before the demo. So yeah, if that's the type of overclocking we're gonna see at a GP104, I am freaking excited. And I can't wait to start seeing what the board partners are able to do with this. So I hope that puts some of the rumor to rest about what Founders Edition is. It's not some crazy cherry-picked, hand-picked, custom-built card by NVIDIA, which I, I actually thought it was gonna be. I had a conversation with Luke um, and Anthony at Tweak Town on the way uh, back from the event. To, in fact, we even talk about this in that little roundtable video you guys saw in Luke's video at Linus Tech Tips. I had the full like 50 minute discussion that took place. Um, I had been given permission to go ahead and upload that video. So I will be editing that together. There's some pauses and some breaks that we took. So I need to edit that stuff out where we're just kind of like sitting there scratching our balls or whatever. Uh, but I will be putting that entire discussion up. You guys wanted to hear it. One thing to keep in mind though is that discussion took place after the press event uh, or like the, the live stream, but before NDA information was given. So I've got to be very careful about, you know, the way that that goes up. I don't want any speculation that's completely wrong to make it in there as rumor. It was a weird when it took place in the timeline. Before, it was, it was after the tease, but before the actual education. And like I said, guys, there's NDA and stuff that we cannot talk about until a later date, as it goes with every single launch. Anyway, I've already asked you guys, what do you think about this idea, this concept? Put it in the description, put it in the description. Yeah, guys, edit my video and put it in there for me. No, put it in the comments, quite honestly. Um, really, NVIDIA setting pricing lower for the AIC partners or the board partners is a good thing if you really think about that. Anyway, guys, time to go. Sound off. I'll see you in the next video.